Terrible situation, and again, these are live pictures to to us from Chopper 46 flying over uh, that plant right now. The scene of the hazmat situation today that we now know killed six people. CBS 46's team coverage continues with Adam Murphy, who's also in Hall County. Adam, you did speak with someone whose family member was injured. Were they able to give you details who that person is? Sean, I did. I spoke with that woman right here at Free Chapel off McKeever Road in Gainesville. This is the situation. The woman came here to see if her uncle was at the church. He worked at the plant. Dozens of employees from the plant were brought here for evaluation. And bottom line, she's not been able to speak with him or locate him. In fact, 130 Foundation Food Group personnel were brought here by school buses provided by the Hall County School System to Free Chapel for medical evaluation by health professionals at Northeast Georgia Health Systems. I have learned that one patient that was brought here was then taken to the hospital for further treatment. I also noticed several people coming and going from Free Chapel this afternoon. As I mentioned, I spoke with one woman who came here frantically looking for her uncle. We're just praying he's okay and he's just one of the ones that's injured and they just haven't gotten his information to let us know he's okay. But we also know that that could not be the case. So just, it's just stressful to not know. And then he won't answer his phone, so I don't know if cause he doesn't have it, he dropped it. I don't know. Now I have just checked in moments ago with that woman. And I've asked her if she's been able to speak with her uncle. She has not. She is with Sheriff's Investigators right now, and they're about to learn some information. Soon as we get that, we'll share that with you. Also want to point out the Sheriff's Office has told us that everyone that was brought here to Free Chapel for a medical evaluation has been checked out and released, and this location is now clear, but still more information to come here in the next hour. We're live in Gainesville. Adam Murphy. CBS 46 News.